Okay, so let's start with Google Webmaster. Once you added the property, how you can judge it out uh, whether you are working good or not, whether everything is working fine in SEO. Before that, you have to submit the sitemap. So that you have, once you log in, click on the dashboard and once you click on the dashboard, there is an option called sitemap over there itself. So once you click on it, it will open an option of add a sitemap. What is a sitemap? Sitemap is of two types. One is HTML, another is XML. HTML is for user, XML is for Google search engine or Yahoo search engine. Whichever search engine you are submitting with. Okay, how to create it? For creating, you have to go on sitemap generator. That is xml sitemap.com or sitemap xml generator. You can go on any one of them. Click on it. Okay, once you open the site, you have to give the URL of your website over here. Like I am doing it for robocircle.com. Let me copy the URL and paste it over here. Let me write www even and you don't have to do anything and click on start once it start crawling you will be seeing the sitemap generated over here okay aap dekhna chahte ho kaisa dikhega aapka sitemap you can check it out okay sirf ek hi page hai for submitting it to the Google so that Google will be knowing that these much number of pages you have in your website. Yes. So that he can crawl and read out each and every page in your website. If you have more number of pages, it will take few seconds and this tool can be used up to 500 pages. If you have more than 500 pages, then you cannot use it. Okay, it, is, it will take few seconds to open. Then after that, if you are using SEO Yoast as a plugin in your website, okay, then you need not to create it. Okay, you need not to go on this particular website what you have to do is whatever your website url is like pure health those let me write dot com slash sitemap dot xml okay it will automatically show me the sitemap Okay, if you are using the plugin SEO Yoast, it will create the maps for you. So you can copy this URL or copy the end part of it. This much only from here and submit it over here. Okay, if you are not using WordPress and SEO Yoast, then you have, it is created. You have to download the sitemap and upload it on your website. And the URL of that page should be your website slash sitemap.xml. It cannot be any other except that. Clear? Once it is done, what you have to do is, you have to test it first. Like, let me test this. I know because I'm sure it is not submitted. Let me test. Actually, this page does not exist, so error again. You see an error. But if you submit in your website, you will see that it already exists. Okay, once it is exist, it show you uh, there is no error in it. Then close the test. This time you will submit the map over here. And once the map is submit. You will see how many times Google is crawling your website or not. Let me show it to you 
some other website which uh, I suppose we have submitted the sitemap. Must be Robo Digital. Okay. If I go on, you can see I have already submitted. So it will show me all the sitemaps which have been submitted till now. Okay, it will show how many web pages were there, how many index. Index means Google has checked out these pages. Uh, means he has gone through the content of it. That means your page is visible to Google. Okay. How much you have submitted, how many are submitted, it can be viewed here. Clear? Submitted is that you are telling that we have these pages. Indexed means that Google has gone through all the pages. Submission means you have just submitted it. Whether Google go or not, it's his wish. Index means he has gone through all the pages. Yes. Might be I have deleted at them or anything. Because that's why it is showing the warning. If you click on the warning, you will find warnings URL are not accessible. That means they have been already deleted. Clear? Yes. The website URL was xml-sitemap.com. Sub create your But for your website, as you are using Yoast, you have to just write sitemap-index.xml. Hyphen, sorry, uh, sitemap hyphen underscore. underscore, sorry, not hyphen underscore index dot xml. Okay, once it is done, that means your website is submitted to Google. Okay, now what you can do is in this, if you go into the second column of it, that is search traffic. If you click on search analytics. It will show you all the things, how many clicks I am getting, I am getting around 200 clicks in the month. How many impressions, what is the CTR and what is the position. Okay, like somebody searching digital marketing course in Delhi, I am getting 31 clicks and my position is 4. Okay, somebody searching Robo Digital Marketing, he's I am getting the first 1.1 and the clicks are 11 in the whole month. Somebody searching Digital Marketing Institute in Delhi, I am coming on 4.4. Clear? So you get the analytics, how many times this keyword is searched and what is the position of that, your website on this keyword. You cannot search, you can analyze the result. Yes. Whatever SEO, you can compare with the last month. No, it is just the comparison of yours or your position analysis. No, you have to verify it. For verifying, you have to put the tag. That's why you won't be. Okay, so in analysis, in data comparison, you can check it how many clicks I was getting in the month of. Uh, Feb to March and March to April. So you can get the fair enough idea whether you are growing or not. What? Isko aapko copy karke submit kar dena. Sirf is wale ko submit karoge ho jayega thara. Francisco submit yeah. Once you are done, you can compare your keywords. Last month I got 48 clicks, this month I got 31 only. So it is decreasing. 
okay this is just date comparison and then go into query yes okay whatever number of clicks whichever keywords you can see over here every every single keyword you are getting position up or down le this is for search analytics you want to know about your website second is links to your website second tab how many total number of links from different domains you are getting to your website okay which domains are giving you the links you are doing uh, directly submission social bookmarking and everything to just get the backlink so here you can check it out is google able to read all those links or not you can check out those links over here like if it is not coming means they have not yet approved it okay like to check the submission and whatever yes. we have done yes you have to maintain an excel sheet whichever url you are submitting you can check it out over here okay then is internal links how many home page is getting internal links you can see home page like this one is getting internal links like 387 internal links giving links of your own domain through different pages like the blog page is receiving 387 links from different different pages internally internally aapki website mein iska reference nahi hai ha aap jaise ek page pe hum 4 5 ha to ek page pe 4 5 na meri page mein 300 pages hai meri website mein 300 pages hai to हर पेज होम पेज को तो रिडायरेक्ट करेगा ही ना क्योंकि सब में मेन टैब तो हो गई मेन्यू तो हो गई होम मैं तो गेस कर रहा हूँ कैटेगरी हो गई कैटेगरीज है कैटेगरी में बैकलिंक है द वेरियस थिंग्स देन नेक्स्ट इज मैनुअल एक्शन If Google thinks anything you any action you want you have to take, then it will show it here. In the entire uh, seven years, I have not seen it has shown anything over here. This one, <laughs> this manual action. There is no single notification at this end. In the last seven years, <laughs> with each and every website, so this is just a useless tab because Google never showed it. next is international targeting when you click on international targeting you have to go into countries okay you have to select which country you are targeting if you do not select it will be for the world if you select it will be become niche because i know i i want to be top uh, in top rankings in delhi so i have selected india you cannot select city you can select only country then also state also that what i said you can select only countries then go on mobile compatibility it will show you if uh, is there any issue with the mobile version of your website so like it is showing uh, content not size to view port if you click on it it is showing some page you just check it out this page and work on it you can understand the space actually does not exist okay but uh in the index file it was there so i have to remove this space from my index you have the xml file click on it jo apne download kiya yahan pe search kar sakte ho post hai page hai jo bhi aap search kar sakte ho aur page hai to page mein dhoondoge post hai to post mein dhoondoge hain Once you click on page, आपके पेजेस जितने भी पता चल जाएंगे यहाँ पे जितने भी लिंक्स हैं हाँ नहीं पेजेस हैं जैसे माई अकाउंट चेकआउट दीज आर ऑल हाँ तो गूगल हैज नॉट येट प्रोसेस योर वेबसाइट इट विल टेक वन वीक अराउंड वेन यू सबमिट ओके दिस इज द मेन फाइव टैब्स ऑफ Google Webmaster where you monitor, you keep on monitoring 
the things apart from that there there are few things which you can check out but that are not that much important number of index pages you can see you have submitted around 300 pages and 312 pages are indexed so you can check around you cannot do anything but you just see it. index is already taken by the google or we we made up the website means this index by index has done the uh, indexing process has google has done the indexing process on the web pages Okay, next is content keywords. Which keywords you are using in the website? Like my focus keywords are digital marketing. So top two words are that means my website is going on the right track. If your website is about movies, so free download movies should be the top words in it. So that you know the analysis exactly where your site is going. If you click on it, marketing, it will show you in where it is coming. Okay. Which variations I have used? Marketing, market, market, marketed. I have used four variation. How many times it is appearing in my website? It is not about page. It is about the whole website. Okay. Resource blog means if you are not giving access to him to certain blogs like I am not giving access to it because it is not an accessible link it is not it is an affiliate link actually so that is always blocked to so we'll block that link as many as because it is in the sidebar as many as pages I am creating it is going to increase next is remove URL if you want to any page you have deleted, you can remove it from Google indexing by giving a URL over here and continue. So Google will unindex it or will remove will not, cannot remove from your site that you have to remove, but it will not index that page again. So whatever bad ratings you are getting, that will be removed from the website. Yes. Once you have to remove it from your website, then you have to give that URL over here. Then go give it over here. Next is crawling. So you can see the crawling data over here. How much data is Google accessing? These are the 10 pages which Google is not able to find it out. So it will show you whether these pages exist or not. Just check it out each and every page. Okay whether these pages exist or not like these pages does not exist so delete these pages and click on remove like the option which we have used in the previous one okay first remove it from your website and then remove it from remove url these all 10 pages whatever number of pages are crawl stats is something how many pages are being crawled per day okay per day uh, a high pay, um, means maximum he crawled 190 pages on my website on an average he crawled 75 pages how much data is downloading from my website so if you any day you update anything on your website you will see a high high peak over there if you are not see if you are updating any data and just see the cycle of it like today you update the data and there is a high peak coming after five days that means your website is being crawled by google after five days keep on doing activity you will observe you will get to know on which day google crawls your website so update the data one day before that okay why one day before that so that your data should be indexed within one day and then your content will be live on search engines or it will be available on search engine very fast how much time it is spending it is at all 
not worth how much Google is spending time on our website to crawl the data. It is spending uh, 1.7 1. seconds. How do we know that it is uh, crawling our website in 5 days or not? Just update the data and then see uh, when the new data is being tweaked. Yeah. Okay. Next is fetch as Google which is you want to see any page. So you can see that page, you have to just give the URL and click on fetch and render. Then you can see that page over here, how exactly your page looks like. Okay, how Google bot is seeing this page and how you are putting this page, how your user is seeing. You have to see, like you can uh, see that there is no ad in Google version. But I have an ad on Google version. That's why it is showing an error that uh, host data partner is not available because he cannot access that link actually. So you have to check out. Google cannot touch it. There is any. He doesn't want to touch it. It is not uh, for Google. It is not possible because it is coming from some impact radius login. Okay, it is not your URL. That's why it's Google is not able to fetch it. Of your website, then it will be accessible. How to correct that? Remove that element? That is the way. That way. It is, it is not uh, mandatory that to remove that, but if you remove, there will be a little bit benefit. Means you should remove it ASAP. ASAP. Okay, but there is always two methods to do it. One is to remove, another is Google cannot see this. That could be another way. For doing that, you have to just copy this URL. Okay. No. You have to go on robots. TXT tester. Okay, go on that. And here you have to by default write user hyphen agent colon space star. Means anybody can browse my website, anybody can crawl my website if I am writing star. User age, agent means it can be Google, it can be user. After that, if you want to allow some file, Google should go through it, then you will write allow. Like for sitemap, I have allowed it. For other files like this, categories I have not created, but I want to remove. I do not want to remove it from my website, but I want Google should not go through it, so that it should not find the crawling error. Okay, like the partner, Google error was coming. So what I will do in that case is I will simply write disallow and double colons and space and after that the URL. Disallow. Yes. Because Google is showing an error that this should not be there. So I am saying Google do not go on this link. Go on crawl this link. If it is not crawling it is no error for it. Clear? Once you are done, then if you want to check it out whether it is working fine or not, you can submit it directly. Okay. And if it is working fine, then download this code. Okay. It will be a proper file and you have to upload it on your file manager in HostGator. Like the way you have done for this. You have to go into HostGator. Let me take you to the HostGator. Hmm. You have to go into your cPanel, login into it, then go into file manager. Okay. In whichever folder you have made the website, you have to go, let's suppose I have made this file in this 
actually it is not but you have to open that folder and just upload the file okay choose the file like i have downloaded where i don't know robots the file name is robots just go and upload the file robots okay just open it complete file the uh, upload edition is complete so it will be visible on your website if you refresh this there is a refresh option you see robot.txt file is there that means it is uploaded and whatever you implemented will be rectified once it is done that means it is working Okay, whatever error you are getting over there, you have to just put it as disallow, and it will be done. It will take time to remove the error. It will not going to happen in one day. It might take two, up to two weeks to remove the error. Site maps I have already told you. Then URL parameters is nothing. It is generally for e-commerce website. Okay, it is generally for e-commerce website. Why it is for e-commerce website like? because whenever you search anything on flipkart it takes you some parameters into it. like let me move into any of the category okay you see ot tracker is equal to hp menu and this okay if you click on any of the link in this row Okay, if I click on refrigerator, you see O tracker over here again. Yes or no? In if in any menu bar you click on in this one, you always see an O tracker. Okay, this is a parameter through which it can detect how people are moving in his website. So this is a parameter for it. So if you have such parameters in your website, then you have to put these parameters here. Add a parameter. If you don't have, then you need not to. Put it. Most of the website doesn't have it. Like e generally, e-commerce website have this kind of parameters because they have hell on. A lot of number of pages in them. Click on add a parameter. Write the parameter like if I want to add O tracker, I write O tracker. Yes, uh, it doesn't affect the content. Yes, it affects the content. So you have to select it doesn't affect the content of the page because page is the same. It depends upon the website. If you go. It is not fixed like SID. It depends from site to site. The person who has made the site. How do we know that for which parameters we are There is no parameter by default for your website. Okay, this is generally for any e-commerce. So we have some list of parameters. No. No, nothing. In normal website, we don't have any parameter. It's just another parameter. I don't know why they have defined it. It could be anything. Okay, you can define that. After that, you have security issues. If you have any Google feel there is any security issue in your website, then it will be shown here. Otherwise, you can move on. Other resources is nothing, just few domain search. If you want to purchase 
from Google Page Insight, Merchant Business Center. Just other uh, tools of Google, just like Google, we have, we know Google Webmaster, we know Google AdWords. So there are certain tools like, let me show you. You can buy domains from Google. Okay, it's just a paid, paid part of Google, nothing else. You have to buy a domain, you can buy it from Google as well. You don't. Uh, you do not require every time to buy from GoDaddy or anyone. You can buy it from Google. Yes. Yes. It is twelve dollars and year. Same option the job. Shopify, Webly, Wix, Square Pages. No, nothing like that. These are all open source, you have to pay extra fees for each of them. It's a... Google is earning money through everything. <laughs> a kind of. Okay, that's why he gave all these free things to you. This...